Hey everybody, welcome back. Adam here with a little more, a uh, little more popper. And well, they won't let us play Grizzle Brand in this format. I think the, I think this is the next best thing. So this is Popper Reanimator. So specifically, I started with the deck list that Phil Gallagher, uh, Thraben Yu, streamed not or and played not long ago, and I took that deck list. And I fixed some of what Phil was talking about a little bit. He had mentioned that um, maybe he didn't love these street rates, that uh, first day of class necessarily wasn't excellent, that he kept cutting it. And so I kind of agreed with that logic. <clears throat> I, I don't really like the, the whole first day of class trying to be hasty, gross thing. So I decided instead, um, by cutting those, I was able to get a fourth hand of Emrakul in here. Um, and so I did include one Angelic Renewal main. I have the Ash Barons and the Plains mains that we can go ahead and cast that should we need to. I also went ahead and put Fragmentize in the sideboard. Uh, this is another way that we can beat something like a Relic of Progenitus or a Tormod's Crypt. Uh, just having a cheap one mana answer that doesn't eat too much into the mana we want to use to combo will hopefully allow us to kind of navigate things a little better. <clears throat> uh, I did, again, cut one Street Wraith. Um, I think this card is reasonable. I think this card is especially reasonable because we can just reanimate this idiot. And when we reanimate this idiot with our one of our seven reanimation spells, like, it's not the worst thing in the world. And five mana is also, like, something we could consider casting if we really wanted to. Though, I, I hope we're never in that boat. So, game plan here... Use things like Faithful Saluting, Merchants of the Veil, to get uh, one of various idiots, either Hand of Emrakul or Ulamox Crusher, into our graveyard. Then using Exhum or Late Dinner to get it back out. <clears throat> now, if we have Dragon's Breath in the graveyard, we can also go ahead and attach that to the reanimated idiot and give it haste. For red mana, we can give it plus one, plus oh, Fire Breathing. So that seems pretty sweet. Um, I did leave the Gurmag Anglers, Fangren Marauders, Red Blasts, and two Angelic Renewals in the sideboard. Uh, this all felt fine. So this way, we have a little more mana to work with should we need it. Um, we also have uh, kind of a little bit more resilience in an extra creature, this Angelic Renewal. And hopefully that'll uh, balance out some of the issues that Phil had outlined. Um, I don't necessarily love the, the, the whole first day of class thing either, so I, I think that was reasonable to cut. I don't want to play dedicated cards for that in my sideboard, so this seemed reasonable enough. So, without any further ado then, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Go ahead and join a pauper league. Thank you everyone for joining tonight, I really do appreciate it. Plenty of ways you could choose to spend your Thursday evening, but I'm grateful that you've chosen to spend it with me. So, for any of you who regularly follow my content and somehow missed the last one, uh, a couple of days ago, we uh, went 5-0 with blue-black Omnitel on stream, so that is a deck we will likely revisit. Um, it ticks a lot of boxes for me anyway. Um, I am a big fan of show and tell for omniscience. I think that that is a very powerful thing to do in the legacy format. All right, this is very, very small. Excuse me while I resize this window. Magic Online updated today, and as a byproduct of that, this looks busted. This looks busted. I'm going to keep this. We're going to start by cycling Street Wraith. Cycle Street Wraith again. Hey Red. Cast Faithless Looting. Bin. Crusher. Dragon's Breath. Cast Fa Faithful Saluting, Exiling, Simeon Spirit Guide. Exile, Hand of Emrakul, Dragon's Breath. I think we'll just cut it for there. Let's 
see where we go next turn. We've put opponent on notice. They basically have to try to keep us at bay for the rest of... Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> they have to keep us at bay for basically the rest of forever. Pop open my graveyard there so everyone can keep an eye on that. I will cast Metamorphose to draw a card. Red, red. Haggle with Merchant of the Veil. Discard Geothermal Crevice to draw a card. Play Geothermal Crevice. All right. Do I want to cast Merchant of the Veil? Unlikely. I can spend the two Lotus Petals. I have the mana I would need to flashback Faithful Saluting, but I don't have any cards in hand. I think we'll just pass. This is the opponent holding, likely holding stuff up and just attacking. No, we're not even attacking with fairies here. Brave. I will cast Lotus Petal. Show me your fairy. Show me actual counter spell. They have actual counter spell. Okay. Late to dinner is actually the better of the two reanimation spells in this matchup specifically because it is unlikely to be tagged by fairy. Uh, specifically, spell stutter sprite being the fairy I'm referencing there. I kind of just want to draw a stable mana source here. I can just cycle this Ash Barons. I can just play this Ash Barons. Oh, I don't have white mana long term. Go ahead and pass. <clears throat> Brain, sure. Like, resolves, I guess. So the reason to not plop pop this now to cast this Merchant of the Veil is because we've already blown two Lotus Petals and a Manamorphose, so black sources are actually like kind of a premium. Our deck does not contain the card Basic Swamp. So now I will go ahead and cast Merchant of the Veil.
Uh, yeah. Debt to the Kami. Sure. Like, that That doesn't feel like a thing that mattered, like, at all. Next turn, I can just flashback looting. Try to find my way into the cards I'm looking for. Opponent really isn't taking any proactive actions at all. And they've cast two brainstorms in a row that just functionally brainstorm lock them. They've not shuffled. Fish is good. I, I would not. I, I will once again not. I hope that that's okay. Okay, now we're clocking. I understand. I'm going to cast looting here. Spell Stutter Sprite gets it. Sure, that's fine. This is where we take seven. We don't have a ton of time here, but we have some. We'll again cast Faithless Looting. I don't know why we didn't take seven there. I mean, brainstorm results. Fairy Seer, sure. Scry 2. Finally going to clear their Brainstorm. I guess this is their Brainstorm, so. Oh, they've Brainstormed again. Mm -hmm. Thorn, sure, sure, sure. That's fine. I wish for the casting zoom. I mean, sure. I don't quite understand what that was about, but I, I guess I accept. Two, four, five, six. We're a little ways off casting this Hand of Emrakul, but like, not not actually that far. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the game. Reasonable. Okay, so Angelic Renewal seems okay. Red Blast seems very good. Things that I'm less interested in. Guess I can cut Dragon's Breath. And we'll shave a Lotus Petal. I think that this plan is very good, and I think that having red blasts to stop their garbage is also very good. I guess, actually, I'd rather cut Lotus or Simeon Spirit Guide than Lotus Petal specifically. Because I think Petal providing multiple colors of mana is actively better. Okay. This does things.
We found the secret tech. Please beat this street wraith. You have plenty of removal. This is also a swamp, for reference. Uh, yeah, so, uh, it, it, it turns out, Lightning Bolt is indeed a magic card. But, like, so is Street Wraith and Exhume. Uh, we're gonna basic land cycle this. Get basic planes. Deal. Like, Chris, why would I ever cast Lightning Bolt when I can cast Exhume instead? Hear me out, right? Like, this just seems like much better value, I'm telling you. I will take this time to set up Angelic Renewal. This makes their removal spells like Cast Down much worse. You can cycle in Ash Barons. I, I will allow it. What we're really looking here for is here is the card Faithless Looting. This is a ninja, sure sure. Oh, that's so good for us. Snuff out, sure. I accept. Uh, given we're not doing anything else, I'm going to take this time to answer Ninja. That's reasonable, Greg. We're uh, we're here to cast Exhum. Because it turns out they let us cast that in this format. The next best version is four mana. But, like, it's fine. I mean, you know this card, Greg. I'm sure that you've... I'm sure you've had Exhum cast against you before. Nice. Relic, boo! So here's the story. I could cast Exhum and make them pop this now. I don't have anything substantial in my graveyard at this time. I don't hate that. I mean, we can. We're trying to reanimate these, like, cheap common Eldrazi, most of which have, like, Annihilator 1 or 2. But as it turns out, like, I'll take a Street Wraith. They now have to decide if they want to pop this relic because I'm reanimating a Street Wraith. Yeah, we get to Faithless Looting these things into the bin. We just haven't drawn the card Faithless Looting yet. Mm-hmm. It, 
I mean, you're again, you are right, Chris. Lightning Bolt doesn't care about graveyards. Sash parents can go. The the other thing is that Lightning Bolt is uh, a little slower at getting our opponent dead than uh, Exhum is, as it turns out. Like, we cycled this for two life. Drew an extra card. Like, look at how good we are at this game. Opponent now also can't really attack well with this ninja of the deep hours. This 3-4 just holds it at bay for basically forever. If they attack all, here they assuredly have another ninja. They do not. I will cast Metamorphose. gonna turn this sideways with them and see what happens again we're still looking for the card faithless looting here that is the card we're truly desperately hunting for okay so opponent pokes with both now So that attack tells me where opponent thinks we're at. They think we're racing. Thanks, Chris. Have a good night, man. I will I, I will lead this off by saying I don't expect us to 5-0 like we did on Tuesday, but I think this is a, a reasonable enough deck. Dece. It is exiled. I will very much just cast Metamorphosis Cantrips here. Uh, we're looking for gas. Opponent hasn't even been like... They're just randomly doing this casual relic dance. Like, they haven't committed to whether or not they want to have it. Like, I, I don't understand. Like... Relic's zero abil like tap ability has been activated twice now, and that relic has been in, tur in play for m more turns than two. Opponent is not clear what they want to do with Relic of Progenitus. Okay, Fairy Seer, sure. Spell Stutter Sprite closer to being a real magic card. Okay, so they scried one to the bottom, kept one on top. They're going to draw it here with Ninja. I'm going to venture a guess that, okay. Weird of you to do that, but I accept. Whiffs with Augur to Bolas. Good. Great. Uh, that doesn't do any... Well, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
No, we're still not there. Yeah, well, like, whatever. I don't think you understand how little this incremental stuff matters. Two, three, four, five. feels like it was the draw off of ninja otherwise you would play that first to set up the ninja draw all right manamorphos make red black cycle street raid Right of flame. How much mana do we have here? This is one, two, three, four, five, six. So I would need to draw a mana off of Faithless Looting if. I plan to be able to do both of these things. I will fire the exhum off now. And they have the relic. We have died. Yikes. All right. Fairy's not really look at the, the deck we're looking for there. Um, we're, we're trying to bully aggro decks and less interactive decks. But that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll take the Elder Fairies and move on. Look for, a, look for a better matchup in round two. Again, I appreciate everyone joining tonight. Uh, next week's overall schedule yet to be determined. Uh, again, probably Tuesdays, Thursdays as usual. Uh, what content will look like is still kind of up in the air. Um, I want to play Vintage. I, from all of the chatter I hear out and about in the world, I hear that playing Vintage on Magic Online is not an experience one should uh, volunteer for at the present moment. So with that being said, I am hesitant to play Vintage on stream. Uh, that said, <clears throat> if the people want to see Vintage, I will play Vintage. I love playing Vintage. So if you are uh, a diehard Vintage fan and want to see Vintage content on the stream please uh tweet at me i still didn't update my discord i will do that in the near future um but i will like there are ways below to get a hold of me please 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 feel free to do just that uh, i am more than happy to play vintage if people want to see vintage content but um from all the accounts I'm hearing right now playing Vintage on Magic Online is a kind of miserable experience. Um, the accusations are that win trading is rampant and that in the event that you get queued up against one of these win trading accounts and you are not willing to win trade with them, of course I would not be, um, then the account in question will queue up against you with an actual deck. <coughs> and take five plus minutes between game actions um that makes for miserable content it's not a good viewing experience that is why i have not agreed to such things i'm gonna keep
Okay, okay, okay. You're telling me there's a chance. Okay, so this is some sort of ramp deck. Okay. This is some sort of ramp deck. Thermal karst, right, right, got it. So we'll see what happens there. Acid moss, sure. Anamorphos. Make red, make white. We <coughs> 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 to the nurse street race. Chip damage has ended. Based on this being red, I'm going to guess that opponent's removal is like Bolt. That I'm not particularly worried about. Okay. <laughs> sure. I will just exhume this. That sets a sick card parity, but it also makes their future attacks pretty bad. Results. Show me another bolt. They have another bolt. Okay. Cycle Street Wraith. Play Sand Stone Needle. Say go.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Almost. Almost. <clears throat> yeah, we'll hold off. One more land drop and we have access to just a hard cast crusher. <coughs> and I feel like opponents going to have a hard time beating a hard cast crusher, to be honest. This resolves. Big. Go. <laughs> Please contest 8-8. Eight eight. One, two. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Six. <clears throat> we're not quite there. Yep, we're going to attack. This is where not having black source hurts. And more visionary to draw a card, sure. Gruel Turf, nice. That seems actively bad for you right now. I'll just gain three life, that's fine. Like, we just keep turning this thing sideways. Opponent's the one that has to figure this out. that opponent could have I think that everything that opponent could have potentially dies just loses to Gurmag Angler we can do that I think Angelic Renewal is basically unnecessary we can cut a Dragon Breath is there anything else worth considering here? Fragmentize is okay Fragmentize is just okay, though. <clears throat> if I cut Fragmentize... If I bring in Fragmentize, is what I don't think it's worth it. Not in this particular matchup. <clears throat> I think basically any idiot I resolve is good enough. Okay. I like this. 
Deep. Wild Grove. No? Turf, bounce, sure, one mana. <clears throat> what are we doing with the one mana, friend? You tell me. Whatever it is, I believe you. Wild growth, sure. Okay. So this is... Cycle Ash Barrens, Get Mountain, Rite of Flame, <clears throat> Red, Black, Red, Black, Cycle Street Wraith, Cast Looting, Crusher, Dragon's Breath, Looting again, Discarding, Hand of Emrakul, Merchant, <clears throat> say go. We don't currently have a way to cast this late to dinner, but this late to dinner easily becomes castable if we need to reuse the Faithful Saluting or the Merchant. Utopia Sprawl, sure. This now makes a bunch of mana. That's, like, a totally fine thing. Four mana. Acid Moss? Feels like Acid Moss. Oh, Pac-Mate. That doesn't matter. Deal. Cast Taggle, discard Sandstone Needle, draws Exhum, sick, play Sandstone Needle, just pass. Okay, we're cascading, sure. I would not. Even better. Cast exit. Get Crusher. Yes, please. Activate. Activate. Move to combat. I always feel like this thing has trample and it doesn't.
Yep. Okay. Hasty idiot into bolt me. I understand. No thank you. <clears throat> I will cast looting first because I'd like to find white man in the cast late to dinner. Which I'm not going to. In that regard. Get Crusher. Mag Magic Online? Yes. I actually died there. I was supposed to get hand of Ulamog. Yep. I needed something that didn't have to attack. I messed that up. That's on me. Hmm. Yeah, I still think this is the plan. I'm going to keep. There's an argument to haggle with this Merchant of the Veil on one. Because that could set us up for a turn two. And this is the black mana. I think I would rather have long term this in the po back pocket though given that opponents on land destruction arbor sure resolves haggle red discard idiots find simian spirit guide you say okay so where i will I will just play another geothermal crevice and pass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Getting a little LD'd. Oh no, they foretold something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crusher. Yep. Pack mate, sure. That's fine.
I have eight eight. Please proceed. An opponent hasn't ramped at all yet either, which is actually very good for me. Acid Moss the Black Source, sure. So, like, here's the million dollar thing, right? Like, opponents cast very few spells. They just cast an Acid Moss. I feel like they probably have another Acid Moss in hand. Now, the question is, do I just Dragon's Breath, or do I make them... I think I make them spend the Acid Moss. Because they just get to do whatever they want if I don't make them Acid Moss. That's fine. Oh, boarding party. Sure, sure, sure. Bolt me. Y yeah. That'll be good for later. As such, we're in the holding pattern of not casting Dragon's Breath. They just get rid of a couple basics. We died a double bolt. Visionary, sure. One, two, three, four, five. Black, green. Land or Visionary again, sure.
Now their attacks aren't free. <clears throat> Not that they had great attacks anyway. <clears throat> Opponent is just playing to Bolt Bolt. That's where they're at. They knew they were dead in combat. They're playing to cast Lightning Bolt twice. Sweet. Awesome. So there's one and one, and round three coming right up. Sweet. All right, round three. This hand doesn't do anything. We're going to mulligan. Uh, this looks okay. We'll ship Dragon's Breath. I don't think that does anything. Cycle. Faithless looting. Discard. And what? I think it's Rite of Flame, but that feels weird. I'm actually going to discard Geothermal Crevice. And Rite of Flame. <clears throat> I guess the only argument there was that if I kept Rite of Flame instead of Ash Barons... We can looting again this turn. We just spend basically all of our resources to do it. Oh, that... Uh, cool. Opponent, please. Hello? Cycle this. Get the white source. Play the white source. Goodbye, opponent. <clears throat> Show me what you got, opponent. I have played white heroic like exactly one time but i i don't think that they're and that was forever ago to be fair but i don't yeah i don't think they can beat this okay so they're normally going to bring in like pacifism style effects if i remember correctly things that say we can't attack so cards like fragment size may be good and cut angelic renewal i will what else? I think if we're hasty, they just die. I'll cut one idiot. I think that's it. I think we're just trying to turbo them. There's a conversation to cut a land, because if we're trying to turbo them, then the game plan could be just to, like, shave, like, an Ash Barons or something, and just try to go fast. I think with the Ash Barons main, I do want a basic swamp. There are enough times where I just randomly want access to basic swamp that I think it's important. 
Oh, opponent's also on 61. Did not, did not catch that at first, but they are indeed on 61. Okay. I'm gonna keep. All damage will be dealt to and dealt by definitely delete. Got it. I will haggle. Discard hands. Sego. <clears throat> Hyena Umbra, sure. Okay. I feel like opponent probably goes all in on this elite because of the ability to prevent damage. And the reality is I don't think that that matters as much as I think it does. Sure. That's whatever. That's real. Play Soul for Vents. Cast Merchant of the Veil. Right of Flame. Late to dinner, get Hand of Emrakul. Dragon Breath, Hand of Emrakul. Yeah, that one's not very good.
Annihilate one. If I were an opponent, I'm sacking Benevolent Bodyguard in a heartbeat there, but <clears throat> that's me. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's fine. Oh no, we're not doing that? Okay, okay. We annihilate one here. That's a wild thing for you to do. You're still sacrificing permanence, friend. Like, opponent now has to play a guaranteed one permanent a turn and basically can't, can't attack at all. That feels very good for me. And if I ever put a second creature into play, opponent's just, like, really hard up for it. Yeah, okay. That, that's that's whatever. Doesn't draw a card. Why? Okay. It's just a permanent thing in sack. Got it, got it, got it. I mean, I promise you that's not a thing that matters, but that's okay. We're just gonna hang out. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, not quite. Yep, that's fine. Like, opponent is definitely the one on the ropes here, not us.
It's also kind of wild to me that opponent's holding on to Hyena Umbra when they're in this position. <clears throat> Bodyguard is a permanent you can sacrifice. I agree. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more mana. We have just a hard cast hand of Emrakul. I'll just gain the three life here. It doesn't hurt me. I'll get a stable white mana. This is Sacrifice a Land, Block with Benevolent Bodyguard. I mean, sure. Doesn't have Trample, right? No. Why do none of these idiots have Trample? Another bodyguard. That's better. This is so good. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I even get to keep the sulfur vent as a real land. Like, good on opponent if they're playing mana tithe, right? I'm not going to play around it here. I absolutely will not. Four, five, six, seven. Idiot. <laughs> hey, got him. Cool. Well, that's us two and one. One more breaks even. Beyond that, we're in profit. So that's the life we want to be living. Uh, I've said it before, mostly in uh, how it pertains to uh, formats like Legacy and Vintage and things like that. But I, it, the same holds true here. Combo is the kind of the place to be in Magic right now. Um, Wizards has printed way too many really powerful nonsense cards in the past few years. And if you can be doing something something dumb and busted in any given format, you should probably be trying to do that. Um, uh, this brought to you by your resident Swords to Plowshares mage. Um, like, it has been increasingly difficult for folks like myself to find a, a place to be in Magic right now. Yes. Yeah, yes? Like, this feels like where I want to be. Sandstone Needle Go. Geodude? 
Geothermal crevice, go. <clears throat> I can wait. I'm patient. Okay, opponent gets second blue source to cast counter spell. Reasonable. I'm gonna be honest, this is likely just gonna cycle next turn to get planes. Pony, you're so brave. Look at you go. Augur Bolas on turn two like an animal. I would say the world is healing, but this feels like a mistake. Alright. Cycle this, get basic planes, play basic planes, say go. There's a talk to be had there about casting Mana Morphos off one of the mana from Sandstone Needle and uh, planes make black, red, hope to draw looting, or haggle. Like, all of that just seems too dicey. And this Mana Morphos is just, like, not a particularly important magic card, so if it gets countered, it gets countered. Yup, that was exciting. Um, we're all dressed up with nowhere to go. I think we're just gonna pass. Two, four, five mana next turn. Yes. I will discard Ulamog's Crusher. Please continue. <laughs> Show me them recoils. Preordain resolves. I think opponent has now realized that they've made a mistake. Don't make me discard cards. Me discarding cards is simply good for me at this point. That's another auger. Sure. Snuff out. Deal. This is geothermal crevice and pass. I believe that opponent has shown us counterspell snuff out okay so they have what we like to call in the business it all bog me that's rude it resolves i don't like it but it resolves travis oh once again metamorphose I will make red black. I just want my deck to be smaller opponent, it's fine. Truth be told, I just want to cast this at Hand of Emrakul. Two, four, six, seven, eight. We're very close. An untapped land next turn does the does the trick. We just get to cast Hand of Emrakul. Aqueduct bouncing bog. Sure, sure, sure. It like
Cycle Street Rig. Right of Flame. Faithful Sleeping. Discard. Dragon's Breath. Dragon's Breath. Right of Flame. Faithful Sleeping again. Hand of Emrakul. Simeon Spirit Guide. Manamorphose. Castic Zoom. Okay. Castic Zoom. Get Hand of Emrakul. Hey opponent, got good news. <laughs> Castic Zoom. <laughs> Greg, it's like you knew or something. It's like you knew. Triple removal spell. Sure thing, friend. Sure thing. Opponent just spent three cards, four life. And they, yeah, they got their bog back. Okay. So I still have... A bunch of reanimation targets, two faithful slutings, two haggles, street wraiths. We still have so much time. Fish? Show me that fish. Yup, it's a big fish. I needed four. Yeah, uh, you keep triple exhumed because the reality is that in game ones, you just have to play through it. Like in game one, I have really no no agency beyond I'm, I'm going to keep casting reanimation spells until you show me infinite answers. Honestly, the thing that's beating us right now is main deck Bojuka Bog. Thorn of the Black Rose. That card is also pretty atrocious. I have one turn to draw something real, and opponent can't have Counterspell. Cast Rite of Flame. Two, four, five, that's, we're dead. You got it. Okay, things I want include Gurmag Angler and Red Blast. Uh, opponent has shown us their hate is Bojuka Bog. Uh, as such, I think this Angelic Renewal is bad. I'm gonna shave a Dragon's Breath. I think that I can slow down and cut Simeon Spirit Guides. And I'll shave one hand of Emrakul because that's the hardest thing to cast. And we'll call that good. Yeah, Greg, it's it's shocking how weird like you have to the the different ways you have to examine hands, Pauper versus Legacy. Because the thing is that like in Legacy Reanimator, you have all of this disruption that costs almost nothing. 
you have uh, grief, you have unmask, you have thoughtsees, like chancellor. You have all of these ways that you can just tell them that they don't get to play magic and they don't get to interact with you. Oh wow, I'm gonna keep this, but it's dicey. Cast. Right of flame. Looting. Discard, discard. I think I want to dig deeper. Crusher. Haggle. Play this. That's so good. Uh, I haven't actually read it, uh, but Greg, the, the summaries I've read is uh, basically welcome back old Pro Tour. Um, the Pro Tour formats will contain, like, that's whatever, I don't care. Uh, the Pro Tour formats will contain modern, pioneer, standard. Sick. I, I accept. Um, so basically, the way I understand it is that we got back the same pro, t pro tour that we got rid of before. And all is fine, I guess. Oh, shit. Yikes. Uh, I, I really haven't read it, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I, I've just been reading the, all the Twitter conversations and the conversations in friend groups discussing it. Um, truth be told, I the, it's just not a life that I'm interested in anymore. Um, I don't particularly care about modern or pioneer or standard at any given random time. And so, as such, nice. Got him. Peace. Um, so, with me not caring, I, I really haven't bothered to look into it. I looked at the structure breakdown and read what everyone was saying about the announcement. Saw that it was basically a little pro tour back. Saw the formats that were included and went, that's neat. I'm glad for other people. And that was the end. Yikes. Uh, I don't have any white cards in my deck right now, right? I do have late to dinner. That seems like it's probably irrelevant. Um, so basically it's the old, like, uh, PTQ, PPTQ structure, from what I understand of it. Which, again, rad. So happy for everybody else. Red, red. That might be good later, I guess. Um... Yeah, no, from what I understand, no Grand Prix or anything of that nature coming back yet. Um, 
just the old PPTQ, PTQ, Pro Tour, Worlds type structure. Yeah, like you, you get to clock me, that's fine. Sick. So you're saying we have a chance. Yikes. Um, again, I, I, I'll be perfectly honest, it wasn't something that I read, Greg. Um, again, after hearing the conversation surrounding it, it just did not matter to me. And so I went, good for other people, and then currently shut Twitter down and walked away. Like, just as fast as possible. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're two mana off. We're dead on board. Yikes. All right. Well, that's us two and two. We've got one more to break even. Got to, uh, got to try, try to hope that we don't run into a deck playing the card Island. That that would be optimal. Uh, our weakness is Island. Like, on that comment, right? Like, I'm, I'm kind of joking about it, but I... This is where the mentality comes from in more relaxed formats, I'll say, about counter spells and things, right? Because I'm playing this big, dumb, like, ridiculous, obnoxious deck, and if you're not somebody who understands that, like, your opponent also, like, is consciously, constantly thinking about that your, uh, your opponent also came to win the game, um, like, I, that is upsetting to people. And, like, I don't inherently agree with the, the logic. Thraben Inspector ARG. Okay, this is Boros. No, counterspell is perfectly legal. Um, it a lot of people always complain about the control decks in Pauper. And the reason they complain about the control decks is All right. Yeah, I guess. Um, people always complain about the control decks, and I was just commenting kind of on that whole notion. Like, the reason people are upset with these control- okay. So this is one of the, uh, like, cleansing wildfire ramp deck nonsense things. Got it. Um, a big part of that whole notion is this whole idea that, like, people should be allowed to, to just kind of do whatever. Like, oh, let me play my spells. But, like, yeah, let me play my spells. An opponent stopped me from reanimating a bunch of big dumb idiots that, like, they couldn't otherwise reasonably deal with. That doesn't matter. Glendhawk? This deck, like, actually does excite me. I I have a, a deep love for <laughs> these, like, Glenhawk ridiculous, like, aggro decks. Kibira Crossroads, sure. Cleansing Wildfire their own land, ramp some more. Oh, Cleansing Wildfire my land. Got it, got it, got it. I will. I think that's only good for me if you're, we're being honest about it, opponent. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Getting close. Untapped land does the thing. 
story of our life. Untap layer, Lotus Pebble, Simeon Spirit Guide. That's dope. Glenhawk bounces synthesizer, sure. That's good. Your metalcraft count sucks right now, but like, that's these. Your mana is also kind of bad. It's a lot of white sources, friend. Yep. Idiots. Blast for two. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Show me Journey to Nowhere. There's Synthesizer. Skyfisher Bouncing Synthesizer. Shows you another land. Cool. Synthesizer again. That's Bolt. Easy money. I'm aware that this thing gets bigger. I just don't care. You have Bolt Bolt? Oh, that's just targeting me. Okay, that's fine. What in the world just... Can, can somebody... Can somebody explain to me what just happened? Opponent had Bolt Bolt, and is just like going for my dome. I'm so confused. Alright. I mean, I'm dead in the air, right? Like, we all know this. I'm not conceding because this is round five, and like, I also like opponent's deck. So, we're just gonna let this happen. I'm incapable of blocking your flyers. Cool story. Moving on. Um, Runal doesn't seem particularly useful. Fragmentize seems decent. I think that opponent will have Journey to Nowhere. And or Relic. And I think that in either circumstance, everything is okay. I'm going to cut a Street Wraith here. Cut a Simeon Spirit Guide. Cut a Dragon's Breath. I have all four Fragmentize. Street Wraith, Dragon's Breath, Simeon Spirit Guide. Oh, I cut the Angelic Renewal. Yeah, I don't think that's good. Sick. Cool. That's us. Yep. This seems fine. <coughs> I'm gonna bottom... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna bottom this other looting. Actually, I'm gonna bottom... The bottom of the second crevice. I mean, that's fair. It, 
You know, like, I do things other than, like, control decks. All of you think I'm only capable of one thing. That's on you, right? Like, you did that to yourself. I'll pitch one of these. Gold Neg is fine. Dragon's Breath, Hand of Emrakul. There's a conversation we could have about how, like, I'm opening myself up to blah, 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 blah. Good talk. Nice stone rain. Hello, Ulamog's Crusher. I would love to use Drake. Hey, we did it. Let's go. Uh, so... With that being said, opponent is now showing that they, their plan isn't to answer our threats. So if their plan isn't to answer our threats, is Fragmentize as good as I think it is? Because opponent just stone cold conceded when I put an idiot in play. They were not even willing to try to fish for something. So with that being said, I think I am going to cut Fragmentize, board back in Spirit Guide, Dragon's Breath, Street Wraith. I think Angelic Renewal is still bad because they're not answering our stuff. I think I'll board in a Gurmag Angler just as one more thing. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. It's wild to me that opponent just stone cold conceded there. Uh... Draven Inspector. True to their name. Look at him go. Uh, TXT. Would 100% recommend TXT. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> Right of Flame. Make red, black. Anamorphose. Make red, black. Haggle. Discard Dragon's Breath. Draw Sandstone Needle.
I will play Merchant. It stonewalls their Thraven Inspector, and if they want to use removal, they can use removal. Rate of Flame. This thing. Discard Lotus Petal. Sandstone Needle. Draws a card. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, they're gonna ramp themselves with Cleansing Wildfire. That's actively good for me. That means that they're not trying to answer this sandstone needle. And this needle is the card that matters right now. Cycle Street Wraith. Discard Hand of Emrakul. Noice. They found a synthesizer. Uh, Greg, to clarify my earlier statement, uh, TXT, because it always translates more clearly for whatever reason. Golden Egg. Uh, for some reason, sometimes if you save as a .deck file, even though that's like Magic Online's native file, it has trouble reading cards when they're imported from elsewhere. Uh, yeah, I will do that shortly. Uh, Greg, I will touch base with you as soon as this is over. This is round five, so we should be out of here shortly. <clears throat> That's the game plan. I mean, good on opponent if they're saving all their burn for our face and just trying to kill us here, but it doesn't seem particularly likely. I get that they have the golden egg. I will just take five here. That's these. It resolves. We have a counter spell for a lightning bolt here, so I'm not particularly stressed out by all this. I've never been to Speciation for a concert, but I did see that show, and I'm also considering going. I don't like being dead to single bolt here. Actually, I guess we're dead to double bolt there, but... Their Metalcraft count tur currently turns on double Galv Blast. Uh, 
Uh, what I will say, Joe, in regards to that question is that I trust Mitch to the ends of the earth. And I have full faith that if Mitch is putting on a show... Okay. I don't understand why that just happened that way, but okay. Alright, well... Oh, nice. So, that puts us three and two. Um, yeah, so some quick thoughts. Um, so, this was the list for tonight. Uh, this is a modified version of the same list that Phil Gallagher, a.k.a. Thraben U, uh, played for Pauper Reanimator not long ago. He had commented on how some of the cards, uh, first day of class, potentially Street Wraith, he wasn't super into, and he wanted some other options. Um, he also commented on the three angelic renewals in the board could potentially be main, including the cards to splash white. Um, so what I did is I left the Street Wraith, I left three of the Street Wraiths because I think that that card is actively good. Um, I b brought in one Angelic Renewal, cut the first day of class, and then also included... What do we do? We cut one Street Wraith, board it, cut up four, first day of class. We included Ash Barons, Ash Barons, Basic Planes, and another Hand of Emrakul. So a fourth idiot. Um, just means we're a little less soft to Graveyard Hate. If our opponent pops it, like we still have threats to work towards. Um, things I would also consider including would be things like another Merchant of the Veil. Uh, Haggle is fine in this deck and does what it needs to do. Uh, I also kind of want to squeeze a basic Swamp in here someplace. Uh, just having Swamp to cast Exhum and things like that is something that I would be interested in. It also makes Gurmag Angler a little easier. So, that would be cool. I don't hate it. But, with that said, I think that is it for me for the night. I do appreciate everyone joining for the stream. Again, I will be back next week, Tuesday. Uh, what we're playing yet, TBD. If you have suggestions, please tweet them at me, at Azrael underscore Chimera on Twitter. Uh, I'm also on various other social media platforms, and I promise, 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 I will fix the issue with my Discord information by the time I go live next week. Because I it was brought to my attention that as is, it does nobody any good at all. So I will get that remedied. Again, thanks everyone for coming out tonight. I appreciate it. You all have a great night. Have a good weekend. Cheers.